Well, if you're in the market for a new TV this season, you may want to listen up. The FBI has issued a warning that smart TVs with built-in cameras could actually be spying on you. The Portland FBI office warning that hackers could take over your unsecured TVs, cyber stalk you, even use it as a gateway for them to come into your home. The cyber guy, Kurt Knudsen, joining us now. So, Kurt, how concerned should we be? It is a realistic problem. So here's the deal, David, is uh, we've got our existing TVs that are out there and what happens is software gets updated to the TV sets that may reset your privacy controls because what you want is to just know how much of your own privacy you want to share. So you want to be able to taper that down to what you're comfortable with or turn it off altogether and then you have the hacker side of it all which is how can someone get into my TV and snoop on me that's a relatively easy thing especially when you start adding in say a Roku stick or another device oh that each one of those opens up access to it. So I think the really good idea is every time you change your smoke detector batteries, you want to take a look at your TV settings and it's go back to that initial setup and oh, just set, you pain. know, it's a pain in the rear end, but I got to tell you, it's worth it because you better believe that they have the power to snoop through your TV. Not many TVs have webcams at this point. In fact, like the last couple hundred TVs I've looked at have no camera, but they all have microphone or listening devices. Mm. And of course, you have the proliferation of uh, audio devices, whether it's you know Google Assist or Alexa and the voice activation that appliances are now going to have, particularly with 5G. I guess the only question, Kurt, is there has to be some awareness on the part of everybody that these devices do go two ways, right? Meaning anything that can listen to you, that can take your orders, can listen to you for reasons that you don't want them listening to you. And I, I guess it's more being aware of the fact that we're living in an increasingly porous, invasive world uh, and not one that's purely going in one direction, right? I think you're right, Zach. I think we're at that point where we've got the education. We now know that all of these smart devices will mm -hmm. snoop on us if we give them the right to do so and some do it without our permission. So now we get to the point of saying, okay, what's my plan to address that? And my answer to that is ever so often simply go on, know how to do that controlling uh, initial setup on your TV. Most times it's as straight as straightforward as hitting settings and then mm -hmm. whatever that initial setup is. And then, you know, take a look at those settings every six months and say, have they changed that? Because oftentimes makers of TVs in the name of privacy will update their software giving us greater control of privacy but in the same token it may open the floodgates of that information until we go back and make those setting changes again. Hey Kurt, Steve Moore here and you sort of touched on the question I was going to ask you but I would love you to drill down a little bit more on this. So let's say I go to Best Buy and I buy a new you know big uh, flat uh, panel TV. Can I have the people at Best Buy disable the camera or whatever it is that allows the, uh, if not, I would think there'd be a, a, a cottage industry for that kind of thing is, is to take away the opportunity for the government to, uh, to spy on your living room. Well, remember the Geek Squad? So Best Buy has those kind of services, but mm -hmm. I don't think consumers are willing to pay for that. <laughs> uh, but as part of an installation, if you do spend the money, number one time of year is sporting events like Super Bowl for TV sales only uh, to be followed by this moment in, in uh, the year. Yeah. The holiday period is a huge time for TV purchases. So if you can get them to just tell you how to do it, it really isn't that complicated. Uh, I would love to have my own technology valet, though, at home. But, but the story <laughs> is just get it done, right? I mean, is this any worse than what's happening with Siri and Alexa and all these other things? I mean, aren't we just being spied on constantly, really? <laughs> yeah, but is that okay? It's not. Well, so, but, it, but it's happening. I mean, it's happening, and you have a millennial that'll say, oh, I don't care. Right. Yeah. Well, you don't care until some money's missing from your bank account. Well, no, that's true. Yeah. Or, you know, it's the after effect of that. So, yeah, we should care, and it is not necessarily any different than everything else that's coming at us. And we got to be aware of it, and we yeah. got to take control of well, it. We got to win our. Thank you back. for making us aware. Although I must say, a lot of consumers prefer convenience yeah. over worries about privacy. I mean, it's just the way it is. It's the new age. Kurt, thank you very much. Good to see you.